These two data samples represent pH measurements from two rivers A and B. And we consider these to be a paired samples because each pair of measurements in each row represents a unique measurement from a specific pH meter. And we have pH meters M1, M2, M3, M4, representing four pairs of measurements. And to compare the mean values of these measurements, we would use a paired t-test by going to stat, basic statistics, paired t-test, and each of our samples is in a column, but it is possible that we may have had summarized data. But taking the default option, we take sample 1 as being from river A and sample 2 as from river B. If we click on options, it tells us that the t-test measures the difference between the mean values of sample 1 minus sample 2. And we can choose to do a two-tailed test where the difference is not equal to the hypothesized difference, which we could enter above. But in this case, we assume we are testing for the difference to be zero. Or alternatively, we could have a one-tailed test, either less than or greater than a difference of zero. But we will stick with the two-tailed test and click OK. The results are given in the session window, where the paired t-test tests for a difference between the pH values of being either zero or not zero. The T value is 3.70 and the P value of 0 0.034, because it is less than 0 0.05, suggests that we should reject the null hypothesis and say that there is a significant difference between the rivers. It also calculates the confidence interval of this difference and gives a value which is between 0.0169 and 0.2231, which is a positive value, which because this is the difference of river A minus river B, which suggests that the pH of A is significantly greater than the pH of B. We can also test for a difference in median values using the paired Wilcoxon test, but if we go to stat, non-parametrics, we see that we only have here a one sample Wilcoxon test where it is only expecting to see data as one sample, which will in fact be the differences between A and B. So we will cancel this for the moment and we have to create a new variable of the difference between each of the paired values. So we will call this new variable A minus B and we will calculate these differences by going to Calculate, Calculator, and we will store the result in A minus B, and the expression will be given by the value of A minus the value of B. OK, so now we have the differences in a single variable, and we can go back to Stat, Non-Parametrics, one sample Wilcoxon. The variable is now the differences. And we're going to test for a difference in the medians with the null hypothesis that there is no difference. And again, we can choose a one-tailed or two-tailed test, and we will choose the two-tailed test and run OK. And the results of the paired Wilcoxon test a p-value of 0 0.10. So with a p-value of 0 0.1, the paired Wilcoxon test is unable to detect a significant difference between the median values of the two rivers.